Dun, 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 dun. Da, da. Love so, I get to be in charge of doing the shopping tonight. Oh, <laughs> Ariel gets to go grocery shopping for us. Yay! If you guys really want something, you have Take to me. tell me and hopefully I'll remember it. Yeah. I have you a should really bring great Moses. Name. How old and are Miriam? I have a great memory, man, I'll tell you that. I chose Miriam and Moses. Name something that you think you want. Some chicken and some oil and some seasoning sauce. Shredded cheese. Things, right? Like biscuits. Chicken. <laughs> Boneless chicken <laughs> breasts sound good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of this chicken breast. Oh. He sent the wrong person to the store. Boneless please. chicken breast? Yes, please. If I can remember. We get go. to go. Let's go. Let's go. Unbelievable. Are those like all the like the stars, like their houses and stuff? Did you know? No, I'm, I'm sure, sure I'm sure, sure that are. they are. I don't know the star's location because I don't really care. Papaya. Papaya's good. We should get this. I never had papaya. Oh, here are these things. Right? Avocado. <laughs> I can't ever remember what they are. Avocado. Yeah. Can we get some? Yeah, we should get some avocado. <laughs> Do you like artichokes? Yeah, but I never had them, like, or I never even knew what they would have looked like. You know, like that. Really? You never like had artichoke like a real in artichoke? A, not a real one, though. Wow. Coconut? Have you guys had coconut? I'll take a coconut. Have you had them? I've never had a, be a regular you coconut, no. I seen a lot of fruits and vegetables that I had never seen before, and that's very strange because uh, I grew up as a farmer. You want to get cottage cheese? Megan requested cottage cheese, so I decided I'm going to get her a little bit of cottage cheese. Let's get them a couple soy yogurts. Okay. Soy yogurts are good? Okay. Well, they're not good, but they're better than real yogurt. Sure, sure. Mose was really, he was trying to make sure everybody got what they wanted. That's, that's Mose. He wants to make everybody happy. I think we need eggs, don't we? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we need eggs, definitely. Those are chicken abortions. I'll bet Abraham Lincoln had eggs for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll bet he died at like 35. Not from eggs, though. <laughs> I seen Whitney and Reese, and they were like, come on, come on in here, you know, and I, I was like, no. What do you call that thing? Suji. Sauna. Sauna? Lasagna. No, the sweat room. Oh, That's the sweat sauna. room sauna. I think it's something like that. I'm not uh -huh. sure. I have plans to sometime get into sauna. I really want to try it and see how I like it. Let's go get some meat. Okay. I can't even believe that we do this. It's so, it's just like a Viking, you know? It's like I'm just gonna rip off a leg of an animal and chomp on it. It's just like violence, you know what I mean? Not really, but then, I mean, I'm, that's okay. <laughs> I guarantee you one thing, I won't ever shop with an organic shopper again. <laughs> is that it? Is that all the groceries, or should we help with some stuff? I think this is it. I was really upset. There's nothing that I could get you guys. There was a lot of food there. It was a big store. A lot of food. I'm going to make everyone a salad, but it's going to be like a good salad. I cannot handle people imposing their crap on me awesome you have dedication to your lifestyle but you know don't look down on me because I don't do it we need to um, start, start cooking you do. Yeah. so even after these bitches went shopping we came back and made something that was already in the house who doesn't love a spaghetti dinner you know nobody can argue with spaghetti except Ariel Here. Hey. I was so scared at first. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to stick this out. But now I'm actually feeling comfortable with the other people. 
I guess we have to learn to accept everybody as an individual, and it's going to be a challenge for everybody, I think. If I'm going to go out and explore, I'm going to do it all the way. But I feel strongly about the Amish religion still, and I feel that I have a sense of duty to pass that on to my sons and grandsons. I do feel myself slipping further and further away from the Amish. As more time goes by, I see more fun things to do. There's a lot of things to give up if you go back to Amish. This experience is nothing compared to living in the Amish community. Here it's like sometimes there are unhappy people in the house, next time they're all excited for something, you know. I don't know how it's going to be the next two months, but we'll find out. <laughs> Coming up as the Amish in the City premiere continues.